There is a new champion in the history of American national championships, Isabo Levito spending her first season at the adult level, more than 10 points ahead of the experienced Brady Tennell and won the gold. Isabo has been training since she was three years old under Russian coaches Yulia and Vyacheslav Kuznetsov who work in Philadelphia. Two-time Olympic champion Yevgeny Platov, ex-dancer from Georgia Odar Japarids and ballet teacher Jana Pelagina help them. Her desire to skate came after watching the 2010 Olympics. She learned a little bit of Russian by talking to her coaches. Now she understands about 40% of the spoken language. At the Grand Prix stage, she went up to the Russian girls, Miraviova and Zinina, and spoke to them in Russian, Kuznetsova said. Levito calls the Russians Evgenia Medvedeva and Elena Kostornaya his idols. In addition to English and Russian, she speaks Italian. The girl's mother Chiara Garberry, who moved from Italy to the US in 1997, works as an embryologist. Chiara was interested in European history and named her daughter after the heroine of the medieval fantasy film Lady Hawk, Isabella, Isabo, of Anjou. Because of the pandemic, Levito's international debut was delayed by a year. From the first Junior Grand Prix, the skater drew the public's attention. If Alice Liu was known for her triple axel from the novices, Isabo was not expected to be a big success. But she broke through the 200-plus point bar on her first attempt and won the Grand Prix. And free skating program to Russian dance by Tchaikovsky became a surprise for Russian figure skating fans. Last year's US championships were a test start for Levito, she could not qualify for a trip to Beijing 2022 because of age restrictions. It's probably going to be very difficult for everyone but Isabo, Kuznetsova said before the tournament. A podium is possible, but I'm not fixated on the place. I just want her to perform well. The debut turned out great. Two clean rolls earned the skater the bronze medal of the national championship. And Kuznetsova was cautious about the ultra C elements, we are focused on her growing up. I don't want her to skate to puberty and be done. I want her to skate for a long time. Isabo is still learning the difficult jumps, though. In the summer of 2021, she tried a quadruple toe loop in the free at one of the smaller tournaments, but she severely undercorrected and fell. As the 2021-22 season progressed, the skater made the content more difficult by adding triple Lutz, triple Ritberger and triple flip, triple Ritberger cascades. In between workouts, Levito completes assignments for an online school. In her free time, the girl enjoys reading, knitting and even playing the piano. And for her Bengal Catlana, the figure skater started a separate page in social networks. Before reaching the adult level, Isabo won the Junior World Championships. And this season she almost immediately established herself in the World Elite, two wins on the Challengers, Silver Stages and the Grand Prix Finals. My goal is to get better and stronger with each competition. It's important for me to know after the show that I made a step forward, that I gave myself to the audience and that I improved in some way. It doesn't have to be meaningful progress every time. But I have to feel inside that I'm moving forward," Isabo told Sports.ru. After winning the 2022 Youth World Cup, Isabo is serious about the 2026 Olympic Games, which will be held in Milan. The fact that her mother spent her childhood near that city gives her added motivation. Taking into account the low competition in the American team, the figure skater has every chance to fulfill her dream and get to the main start of the quadrennium. World Champion 2015 Elizaveta Tuktamasheva will not perform at the St. Petersburg Figure Skating Championships. Tuktamasheva was on the preliminary start list, but today her name disappeared from the list of participants. According to TASS, citing a source familiar with the situation, the figure skater withdrew from the tournament for health reasons. The St. Petersburg Championship will be held on January 28 to 29. Coach Tatiana Messina said that figure skater Elizaveta Tuktamasheva did not plan to perform at the St. Petersburg Championship. Before, it was not planned that Elizaveta will perform. 
I don't know how the information about Tuktamasheva's participation in the tournament came out, so she was allowed to skip the championship of St. Petersburg. The Federation had given her permission even before the Channel 1 Cup. Nothing happened to her. Naturally, Liza will be preparing for the finals. Let's hope everything will be fine, said Messina. On Saturday there was the third stage of the Moscow Sports Cup where Yevgeny Plushenko's apprentices Sofia Muraviova and Veronika Delina showed their demonstration numbers. The skaters told about the Channel 1 Cup, their plans for the future and possible eligibility for Russian skaters to participate in international competitions. Muraviova was the first to come forward. At the Cup, she presented last year's short program. How did you react to the result of the Channel 1 Cup? Were you nervous before the performance? I still have anxiety before every start. It can be a little more, a little less. I don't remember how much I was nervous. When you perform, you forget everything and enjoy what you did. I am very glad that I played there. I was rooting for everyone, I was friends with all of them. I am very glad that everything worked out but you wanted to win. I guess I wanted to. But this was my first Channel 1 Cup. If it happened that way, so it was necessary. What are your plans for the Grand Prix Final? To work on my mistakes. To improve in terms of jumps. Work on ultras, fours. Trying to skate more so that I can skate cleanly instead of thinking about what I will do if I fall. What quadruplets are you doing? Salcho and Toe Loop. Will we see them soon? I hope we will. At the Grand Prix Final. I am preparing. As Evgeny Viktorovich says, one quadruple moves the other, they go faster that way. That's why I'm learning two at once. I won't make any predictions, but I hope so. Have you heard about the IOC's statement on the possible admission of Russians to international competitions? Yes. I read the news. It's not up to me, but I would be glad to compete. Give me some ice and I'll do it. Veronica Vilina performed her current short program. Veronica would you like to compete in the Channel 1 Cup? I would love to compete with great athletes. I don't care which team. How was the training camp in Novogorsk? I really like to skate in Novogorsk. It is the most good training base. We train hard there. What are your plans for the Russian championships? I want to do my best at the competition, I want to do a short program in free skating. So far we are using the same set of jumps. What will you do next year? That's a secret for now.